Tara here from Simple Day, and I want to make Monday the best part of your week. If you need help with a custom implementation, my contact details are in the video description below. As you may know, Monday has a connected boards column. And what this means is that information from one board is connected to another board. So you can see I have a very simple CRM set up here. And on my contacts board, it's connected to the deals board. So this column is showing me that the information that's on the deals board that I've connected this contact to this deal. If I go to the deals board, you can see I have the same thing. I have the here's the deal and it's connected to a specific contact. Now, I want to show you how you can set this up and what some of your customization options are. So in order to set up a custom, um, sorry, a connected boards column, you click on the plus button and you just choose connected boards. Now, now there's a pop up that's going to show you which to allow you to choose which boards you want. Keep in mind, depending on your plan with Monday.com, how many boards you're allowed to connect to on the pro version, you're allowed to connect up to 20 boards. So right now I'm going to hit select boards and I just want to connect this to my contacts board. So I'm not going to have to add any more boards just so you know you can add more boards later. The most important thing to keep in mind is do you want a two-way connection or not? A two-way connection means that the information will show up on the deal board and on the contact boards. If I hit what if I do not check this button? So then it's only going to show up on the deal boards. Now, for this example, I want it to show up on this board. This is really important to know before you create these boards because you cannot change this later. You would need to create a new column. So I'm going to click create two way connection and connect boards. I'm going to ignore this for right now and I'll show you what happens. So here you can see it links to my contacts. If I hit on this information, pop up, it's going to show me that it's connected to my contacts board. Now, if I go to my contacts board, you can see a new column just popped up. Okay. Now, because I did a two way sync, if I want to add a deal here, let's say I'm going to connect to deal one. So you can see that it's deal one is showing up on my contacts board. And if I go back to my deal board, you can see that my contact is showing up. This is the two way sync that I was showing you. Now, if you want to pull in more information from one board to another, you can also add a mirror column. So you could have done it at the prompt before, or if you hit on these three buttons and then you go to settings, customize, connect boards, you can click on add a mirror column. Now what a mirror column is, it's pulling in another column from a different board. So right now here, you can see if I go back to settings that this is pulling in a type. Let's say I want to pull in this customer's email. So I would just change this to email and you can see now their email is showing up. Obviously, you may want to change the title of this column so it's clear. So this information that you can clearly, clearly see is underlined with a green line is not actually living on this board. This information that is on the contacts board and is just being mirrored or shown on this board, but it doesn't actually live here. So if I would make a change here, let's just say I would like to edit this person's name. I can edit it from or their company. Let's just say I want to change their company to Nike. So I can change it actually from this board. OK, I change the information, but the inf if the change is also going to show up on the contacts board. See this person, Phoenix Levy, she was changed to her company was changed to Nike. Now, depending on what kind of information you want to see, obviously you can create a number of connected board columns, uh, sorry, of mirror columns, and you should also know that you don't necessarily need to keep them in the same order. So let's say I can move this column, let's say email is the most important and I want it to be at the beginning of my board, so I can move it. So just to summarize what we did here, there are you can have a connected board column and it can be a two-way sync or a one-way sync. You need to set that up when you're setting up the board. And then you have mirror columns that pull in data from the other board, but the information is actually living on the board that you're pulling it from. So what's important about that is that if you change that information, let's say I change this, it will be changed on the other board. You don't have two different records. You have one record that's pulling from one board to the other. Connected boards are really a great way to manage your information. Make sure that you don't have duplicate information because sometimes you may need information for a lot of different tasks that you need or different processes. So I highly recommend recommend playing with connected boards and mirror columns and see how you can implement them into your monday.com setup. Thank you so much for joining. If you enjoyed this video, like it below and subscribe if you would like to get more tips and tricks on how to use monday.com.